We give you adoration. Thank you, Father, for this day number seven, conclusion of day number seven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we bless your holy name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you adoration. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we conclude day number seven, healing is mine. Lord, we ask you to have your way, be glorified, be magnified, take, yes. receive the glory, receive all the glory. We are so grateful, we are so thankful for all that you have done for us throughout yes. the day. Thank you, Lord. Our heart yes. is full of gratitude. Let's just take oh. a moment, let's give him thanks. Wherever you are, just give him yes. thanks. Yes. Thank, you. thank you for all that you have done. Thank you. So fast, thank you, Lord. Just give thanks. Go ahead and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus, for the strength and the meaning of each and every day. God. Thank you for Thank you for the mercy of Thank you. Thank you for breaking addiction, Father God. Thank you, Lord Thank you for healing. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for delivering us, so Lord God. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Oh, we honor you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Ladies and gentlemen, as we conclude day number seven, healing is mine. I want you to understand that the word of God stands forever. What God says in his word, he will surely do. What God says in his word, he will surely do. The word of the Lord says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as a calf from the store. Mighty God will bless you. It says in Isaiah 53, 5, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Now, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, he says, Who himself bore our sin in his own body on the tree, that we haven't died to sin, my need for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. So when Peter now wrote it, Peter says, you were healed because it was already a done deal. The Lord has already done it. Thank you, Father, for you have paid the price for our healing. You have paid the price for my healing. You have paid the price for our healing. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus, for you have paid the price for our healing. 
We honor you. We adore you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord also says in Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. He says, I will take sickness away from the midst of you. It means God can take away that sickness. God can take away that disease. God can take away that infirmity. He says, I will take it away from you. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We bless you. He says in Isaiah 58, verse 8, he says, Then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Thank you, Father. Mighty God. I love Psalm 147, verse 3. It says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wound. He heals the brokenhearted and bind up their wound. Psalm 107, verse 20 says, He sent His word and healed them and deliver them from their destruction. He sent his word. So God has the ability to take it away from you. God has the ability to send his word, and his word will go and deliver you from every sickness and from every spirit of destruction. Mighty God will bless you. It says in Exodus 23, 25, so you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and water, and I will take sickness away from thy midst of you. I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is God's promise for us, and we have every right to believe the promise of God. We have every right to anchor upon the word of God, for his word to come to manifestation, for his promise over us to come to reality. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the, by the reason of you fasting, waiting on the Lord, I pray over you today that God's word will come to full manifestation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name, O oh God. Let's just take a moment. Let's just begin to speak in our heavenly language. Just begin to speak in your heavenly language. I got to hear your voice. Go ahead and speak in your heavenly language. Melite Fredo Shabaladas. Go ahead and speak in your heavenly language. Lipe Redes, Zete Teredos. Now I want us to make some make some some prayer tonight as we conclude this. I want us to pray a little bit more. The word of the Lord says, "Precious Father, we bless you." In Exodus twenty-three, verse twenty-five, 
It says, so you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's sad to say in our society today, our food has been contaminated. Our food has been contaminated with so many things. That is why we have to pray and believe God that whenever we eat, that our food will be sanctified, that the blessings of the Lord will be upon our food. So when you eat, don't take it for granted. Prayer is important. Believe God. Pray in your heart when you, when you eat. Pray over that food because the blessings of God will be upon it. He says, He will bless your bread and water. He will bless your bread and water. The reason why you, can, you see in our society today cancer is in the increase is because of the food we eat. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. That the food you eat shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Let's go ahead and begin to make this declaration. La prodo site feradash, malite feredosh, marado veresh. Thank you, Father. Holy Father, take sickness away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that be your prayer right now. Say, Holy Father, take sickness away from my life. Take sickness away from my family. Take sickness away from my children. Lord, take sickness away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that be your prayer right now. Pray, pray, pray. Say, oh God, take sickness away from me. Oh, let sickness be far from me. I got to hear your voice. Just take a moment and pray. Say, oh Lord. Say, my father, my father, I believe in your word. Let my healing start now. My father, my father, I believe in your word. Let my healing start now. My father, my father, I believe in your word. Let my healing start now. I decree and declare over you that your healing starts now. Your healing starts now. Your healing starts now. In the name of Jesus. Paroda Vazite Keperadash. Thank you, Father. Say, O oh Lord, forgive me of my iniquity and heal me from all disease according to Psalm 103, verse 3. O oh Lord, forgive me of my iniquities and heal me from all my disease according to Psalm 103, verse 3. It says, Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? O oh God, Mighty God, we give you praise. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. I give you all the praise and I give you all the glory. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Good Father, hear my cry today and heal me from my affliction. Oh God, hear my cry today and heal me from my afflictions. According to Psalm 30, verse 2, Oh Lord my God, I cry out to you and you healed me. O oh Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. O oh Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. O oh Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. Thank you, Father. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed, according to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Mighty God, we bless you, we honor you. Let Rados zende keperados, le verende zeperados, zadederes, le prando keperadas. 
Zipeperodabas, mighty God will bless you, mighty God wants you, mighty God you, mighty God adore you. We give you all the powers. Livre dosh, leberedes, letrado shabas, malite predos javalides. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Oh, I give you praise. I give you praise for your healing power that is going through our virtue, for your healing power that is going through every part of our being. Thank you, oh God, for your healing power that is manifesting through us even at this moment. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I command my bones to receive healing. Let that be your prayer right now. I got to hear your voice. I command my blood my blood to receive healing in the name of Jesus I command my blood to receive healing thank you father in the name of Jesus, I command every vital organ in my body to receive healing. I command every vital organ in my body to receive healing. Parode, Siti, Fredosh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command every cell in my body to receive healing. In the name of Jesus, I command every cell in my body to receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and begin to pray your heavenly language. Li predo zite peradosh, marande ke peradash. Pray in your heavenly language. I got to hear your voice. Go ahead and pray. As I make this declaration, I want you to believe it from your heart that the Lord will do as he says. I'm in page 64. I'm going to make this declaration in page 64 of the book. I make this declaration by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that I am healed by his stripes. I am healed by his stripes. Let that be your declaration right now. You are healed by his stripes. I decree and declare over you that you are healed by his stripes. You are healed by his wound. I decree and declare that every fiber of your being will hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare that every fiber in your being will hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare that your body is healed by the stripes of Jesus. Your body is healed by the stripes of Jesus. I decree and declare that your soul is healed by the stripes of Jesus. Your soul is healed by the stripes of Jesus. I decree and declare that your spirit is healed by the stripes of Jesus. Your spirit is healed by the stripes of Jesus. I decree and declare that your heart is healed. Your heart is healed. I decree and declare that your mind is healed. I decree and declare that your brain is healed. I decree and declare that your kidney are healed. I decree and declare that your lungs are healed. I decree and declare that your liver is healed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that your pancreas is healed. I decree and declare that your intestines are healed. I decree and declare that every cell in your body will begin to function normal 
and function well in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this body will no longer know sickness. Your body will no longer know sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that your body will no longer know affliction. Your body will no longer know affliction. I decree and declare that this body will no longer know affliction in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this body is supercharged by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your body is supercharged by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare that sickness and disease will not touch my body. Sickness and disease will not touch your body. I decree and declare tonight that sickness and disease will not touch your body. I decree and declare all these things in Jesus' mighty name. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you, so light will shine on your ways. Job 22, verse 28. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in our heavenly language. Seal it with, our, with your heavenly language as we prepare for communion. Seal it with your heavenly language. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Father. As we are about to partake of the communion, I'm in page 65 of the book. Mighty God will bless you, we honor you. It is as you partake in this communion, it is crucial to recognize its supernatural and powerful nature, which aligns with the Word of God. Anticipate healing in your body as you take this communion. Let me say that again. Anticipate healing in your body as you partake in this communion. For it brings healing, life, and regeneration. This art of communion is an art of worship that connects you to the heart of God. Believe that your physical body will receive 
God's healing power and be restored to health and well-being. For I receive from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. First Corinthians 11, verse 30, 23 to 24. Take the bread, break it and say, Father, as I take this bread, let your body infuse my body with divine health. Go ahead and break it. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you all the glory and partake of his body and give him thanks. He says, thank you, Father. We bless you. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. First Corinthians 11, verse 25 to 26. Lord, I thank you for your precious blood. As I partake of your precious blood, may it bring regeneration to every cell in my body, working a creative miracle in every part of my body. Renew my body. Renew every organ, my heart, kidney, liver, all the intestinal parts, eyesight, brain cells, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the victorious power of the blood of Jesus, which knew no sin. Thank you, Father. I bless your mighty name. Merciful Father, pour out your mercy upon me. May my body manifest the benefit of communion and be renewed. Restore health to my body and soul. You are the greatest physician. O oh Lord, heal me and I shall be healed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's go ahead and partake of his blood and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Tonight, we receive your healing tonight. We receive your healing tonight. Begin to thank him. Say, Father, thank you. I receive my healing tonight. I receive my healing tonight. I got to hear your voice. Just say, thank you, Lord. I Thank you. 
Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.